Hello and welcome to some more Star Citizen news. We have a new PTU patch out for 3.1.4 and we have the second part of the 100 FAQ which had more information on the 300 series we work. CIG are really pushing out the micro patches for 3.1x while also simultaneously working on the 3.2 dev branch. Previously, it was suggested that once a major patch was out, they would lock it down quickly and then move everything over to the new branch, all the resources, everything. However, CIG seem to be continuing to expand their studios and staffing, and their processes and experience are growing and improving. They are now seemingly able to develop and integrate improvements with the live and dev branches, potentially on the fly, or at least doing integration into the branch much later. Hopefully this won't cause any problems, and it's potentially because the live and the dev branches are becoming more similar and more compatible as more core features come online, just with obviously the dev branch having a lot more features in it and only stuff that's partly complete and not really for public consumption. The 3.1.4 PTU patch notes are very, very small. Uh, basically, multiple players no longer spawn into the same easy hand room and two fatal uh, error crashes have been fixed. It also increases logging. I think this is going to be on all the PTU patches going forward. It helps identify issues and get them fixed. Uh, you also get 100 uh, Alpha UEC on the PTU test servers as well, so that's an encouragement to actually um, test on them. I hope this becomes the norm with future updates, maintaining a live and a PTU environment at the same time, as it means that we get lots of fixes, improvements, uh, and that sort of stuff on a build, and we get a testing focus for backers that are so inclined, because typically they will be saying, well, we're testing this part of it out, or look, we fixed these crashes, test them to make sure they're fixed, or they will actually post that they want something in particular tested. The second part of the Origin 100 series FAQ came out. The 300 series is getting a rework. It will fill a higher tier place in the ship hierarchy once it's been reworked as well than it currently does. It's also going to have its roles more defined and focused. I expect that it will be a luxury and step up version of the Avenger, or one of the more logical steps to a uh, single-seater craft for light combat and exploration after starter ships. So you have the low-tier ships and the starter ships, like the Mustangs and the Auroras and stuff, and then it's a, a, a natural progression up to a 300 series, if you so wish, for that luxury kind of sidestep away from the Auroras. I mean, potentially, it could be a, a competitor to a luxury version of a fighter in the future where they go well if you want to do heavy combat obviously you go for the the top tier fighters like the buccaneer and the saber and the hornets however if you want a more luxury multi-role ship then maybe that will be the 300s it's it's good that they're going to be slightly redefined it's good that they're getting that rework and um, because we do want them to fit somewhere in the hierarchy of ships that's going to get used and make sense the 300 rework is planned for alpha 3.4 coming this december the 125A might get a weapon hardpoint upgrade in the future if it makes sense, but it's more likely that they're going to make size 1 weapons more competitive in the future. We are going to be getting big weapon balance and big weapon changes coming as item system 2.0 comes more and more online and systems and weapons all start to depend on power and you have to allocate power and stuff. They can have weapons in a lot more different fashions and they can have size 1 weapons. Maybe they're not particularly power efficient, but they're still not too underpowered to compete with size 2 weapons. There's lots of stuff they can do for balance, and obviously you do want to make sure that sizes of hard points do matter, and that larger size hard points give you better access to stuff and, and more powerful things. However, there's stuff that you can do to make size 1 weapons more competitive. The interior of the 100 series is still the same across all variants. It has a bed, room for two SCU of visible cargo, and access to its components. With its air system, the 100 series scoops fuel and refines it straight into its tank. The 135C will be more maneuverable and potentially have better fuel sustainability than an Avenger Titan. The Titan, however, is larger, better armed, and in my opinion, just a better option. We will be getting an ATV later with a Squadron 42 update. We'll take a look at that tomorrow with any other news as well. Tell me what you think, though, in the comments about the 300 series or anything else we've talked about. With the 300 series, I'm thinking it might go a little bit of a different direction than I expected. I was 
expecting not much of a rework at all. Maybe just some like modeling, some change of the wings so the wings don't like go around. So it's a bit more in line with the 600 series. But it sounds like it might have its own little um, tier now. It might be uh, moved on the hierarchy to maybe potentially be more competitor with the Buccaneer. Um, that sort of stuff, a luxury version of a fighter, potentially. Um, but tell me what you think. That's more speculation than anything on my part. Potentially it could get a size increase. I think it will still stay relatively true to the way it looks currently, as in you'll be able to recognise that that's the, the 300 series. You'll look at it and go, well, obviously it's changed a bit, but it's still the 300 series. It's just, it, I mean, it could get hard points changes. It could get roles changes and more redefined stuff. It could be uh, a lot higher on that on that hierarchy. But tell me what you think down below. Every month we have a giveaway for Star Citizen. For this April, it's a massive salvage ship, the Aegis Reclaimer, provided by our featured app, MyRadar. MyRadar is a free weather app that also includes full-scale maps of the three moons of Crusader, including Yella, Selen, and Daima. Users can scroll around the interactive maps and zoom in to the landscape to see the geography of those moons. My Radar is available in the US, Europe, Japan, South Korea, and coming this summer to Australia. It is a real life weather app as well, so you can see the weather in your general area and in those countries too. It's available on iOS, Android, and Windows. Please check it out in the links below if you are interested. But to be in for a chance of that reclaimer, make sure you're subscribed to my YouTube channel and comment on any of my videos throughout April. Each video gives you another chance to win. Do you have any questions about Star Citizen, its development, gameplay mechanics, suggestions for videos, whatever, chuck them in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you. A special thank you to my Patreons for allowing me to create the amount of content I do. Ugh! If you're interested in becoming one of them, please find the links to Patreon as well as everything else we discussed down below. Please don't forget to like and subscribe as it really does help me and I'll see you in the verse.